Condolences continue to pour in at the death of veteran physician and medical pioneer Dr. Judson Enius, who passed away as a result of complications from COVID-19 on Saturday. The Bahamian is the first among the health fraternity to die from the illness. Dr. Enius was 72 years old. His impact, however, reached beyond the medical community, as Desmond Saunders tells us tonight. So in learning of the news of Dr. Aeneas' death, I was absolutely stunned and shocked and, and, and mortified. Um, you know, this is a, this is a guy who um, a lot of young men in the community, we, we idolize. Leading attorney Barry Griffin, among hundreds of young men, stunned over the death of medical pioneer Dr. Judson Aeneas. Griffin, along with coastal engineer Carlos Palacios, insurance analyst Darren Rogers, and corporate executive Lamont Stubbs, were all members of the Gentlemen's Club, an elite, prestigious leadership program for young men within the high school system, founded by Dr. Judson Enius and his wife in 1992. 1999, St. Anne's High School graduate and past gentleman Darren Rogers hailed Enius as a mentor who changed his life. I know my mother is a single parent that works hard. She had fought her course, and it wasn't really too much I could expect from her because she had brought me so far. And um, I told him, you know, I, I really needed a job. I needed to figure out how I was going to get some kind of tertiary-level education. And he pretty much told me not to worry about it. My first job out of high school, um, I was employed by him. Um, I was working uh, part with the, the Providence Dialysis Unit as well as the Gentleman's Club. Since 1992, the Gentleman's Club, founded by Dr. Judson Enius, has assisted in the professional development of more than 1,300 high-achieving meals from both the public and private school system, awarding millions of dollars in educational scholarships. 2004 Gentleman of the Year, now coastal engineer Carlos Palacios, shared his most memorable experience. He would touch the things that young men often would not have the opportunity to talk about. Things like emotional intelligence, things like how to treat a lady, things like how to treat each other, conflict resolution, uh, how to dress, very basic elements, the confidence to go in a handshake, how to have proper body language, eye contact, the things that no matter where your background was from, you had something to learn even just basic table manners. At a time when young men are facing numerous social challenges, the new director of the Gentleman's Club and now leading corporate professional Lamont Stubbs believes Dr. Enia's life should serve as a testimony of courage and strength to all Bahamians. I think the key to preserving Dr. Justin Enia's legacy is for us to continue to take the mantle and continue to live our lives the way he did. You know, be very concerned and interested with the development of the youth, in particular young men in our society. And I think if we all take a page from his book and we all you know, make a greater effort to be a community builder, um, to be a role model and an example. Dr. Judson Enius, a towering figure in the Bahamian community who served with distinction, he will be greatly missed. Dr. Enius is survived by his wife, Machetta, and three children. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.